Uh, I thought today it might make uh, good sense to start by talking a little bit about how we can use the text analytics capabilities that come as part of the Magellan kit of tools to extract insight from documents as they flow you know, into and across the organization. I thought I wanted to start by talking a little bit about augmenting the capture process. So if you are an OCC or a Captiva customer, now we're calling that intelligent capture, uh, there, there's a pretty powerful set of tools here that we can deploy against the capture process to allow you to get more value out of the content as it flows into the organization. So uh, what, what we're gonna look at here is I'll jump into the intelligent capture toolkit and what you'll see me doing is adding a document in the standard intelligent capture workflow. So what I'm gonna be able to do then is begin just exactly as you would as a intelligent capture user, I can start pulling in content from the capture process. So let's just go grab a document here uh, that I can show you, uh, we'll, we'll take a, a, a TIFF file. So this is an image file, just exactly like would be flowing uh, in from your, your scanner bed or your feeder uh, through intelligent capture. So your capture users will be familiar with this process. Um, but what I see here is I've, I've got a document. I can take a closer look at that document if I need to. Why don't we take a moment to do that? I'll just try to zoom in on it here. We're a little funny here with the screen share. Uh, if you can read that, uh, it describes a, a, a medical incident that, that someone had. Now, the trick here is that this is not a form document where uh, we can readily identify which fields are the, the names of the people involved, which fields represent the locations. This is just a piece of correspondence. So uh, there, there's some content here that Intelligent Capture will be able to identify and extract, uh, but there's also some content and some context that uh, can only be extracted with natural language processing or NLP tools. So what I'd like to do is take a look at that information. Here we get a little bit bigger view there, maybe a bit more legible for you. Uh, and, and on the right-hand side, you see some of the metadata we were able to identify. You notice things like uh, pattern matchable values, like a policy number or an email address, but also things that we really never would have found through regex, things like concepts, right? Medical incident, coffee machine, minor allergic reaction. Uh, you see some sentiment information there, though that may not be terribly relevant in the case of a medical incident report. Uh, same with summary, may or may not be relevant, but it's, it's there for you. It's one of the tools that the text mining engine can uh, provide to your process. But here you see some other things we're finding. The people names that are in this document, dates, even the uh, geographical locations where uh, you know these things happen in the organizations involved. You see open text and Starbucks. So all of this is, is, is metadata that's in the document that wasn't available to extract just directly through the intelligent capture process. So what I can do is I can pull that document in through Captiva. I've finished my process. Now what I'm gonna do is jump out of the capture stack and into content server where this document landed. What we've actually done with the Magellan toolkit here is to take that document all the way through the capture process and land it in the uh, open text content server environment. So if I sort by date here, I should be able to find the document that I just uh, added here, this medical incident report. And if I look at the uh, little info panel, I can look at the underlying metadata. This metadata has been persisted into the content server repository as content server metadata or whatever uh, content services platform you use, you know, content server, documentum, et cetera. Uh, and, and if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see the Magellan extracted medical incident report metadata. So we were able to not only identify that this is a medical incident report, but then we have a special metadata structure for documents of that type, and they contain all of the relevant information. You see even things about drugs. These come straight out of an out-of-the-box taxonomy that's available to you as a Magellan customer that describe, you know, even the, the, the drug that was given, Singular. Um, but, but all that metadata is information that we can potentially use to enhance what we store in this repository, and we did it all automatically without 
uh, without a user or human being having to go in and identify, you know, the people names or that it was a medical incident report and that sort of thing. Now, this is just one example where we're doing this for, for a medical incident report, but just above, you actually see that there's records management information. So th there's security information. There's all kinds of detail that Magellan can potentially identify within a document that uh, you can then leverage as metadata in your content services uh, platform of choice. So it's all about the generation of that metadata and being able to deploy it into that process, be it part of the capture process where we want to use it to change the capture workflow, or in this case, we just want to enrich that document at the level of the repository or the content management system in question.